And that was my next question. What are some of the science-based techniques that help people, say, get through setbacks and adversity mm. in the workplace? Yeah. Well, we all have ups and downs. Every, even the best of days has its less good moments. There's a lot out there on resilience now. It's one of the most exciting areas of research is looking at how people handle adversity. And I have a lot of techniques in my toolbox that I use personally all the time. Um, one of them, for example, is distancing, something known as distancing. And what that involves is when something bad is happening, even if it's already happened, it's helpful to adopt a position of distance, either by projecting yourself into the future and looking back from the future, or putting yourself in someone else's shoes and then looking into the situation from that distance. So one of my favorite questions is, what will I think about this in a year's time? And instant injection of perspective. I have a couple of CEO friends who use variations on that, uh, but they also like to ask, what would I advise another person if they were CEO of this company? It's interesting that both of them develop this question for their distancing question. I had another client who asks, uh, what will my best self think about this when she looks back on this in a week's time? Quite long, but it works for her, and it's helpful to have a go-to question that you can use in times of, of stress. Because what happens is, it has been shown that asking those kinds of questions reduces the state of alert in the brain.